Hey, I'm Adam, and this is Broken Bushcraft. Um, so today we're going to talk about knots. Knots are something that can uh, that are one of the pillars of bushcraft. Along, it's up there with fire, shelter, water collection. Uh, it's one of those important skills, but it's also a very perishable skill. But knot tying can transition transition over to your everyday home life. You know, if you're tying something to the roof of your car, if you're tying um, a rope swing up for your kids, if you're tying somebody up with their consent. You know, whatever. Um, knots can can get can go uh, all over. So, and there are a ton of knots. There are a lot of knots. Um, too many to really name. So we're gonna cover four today, and probably we're gonna go every week or so. Make do a new, put a new one in there. Um, these are just four basic ones. We're gonna go over the overhand knot with stop knot, um, which is an essential knot. The bowline knot or bowline knot, whichever one you want to call it, um, that is an, also an essential an essential knot. A uh, sheet bend knot, which brings two ropes together, and then a trucker's hitch. Um, the trucker's hitch is help, helps you um, make a tight line, secures the stuff down, but also we use it for our ridge lines for our tarps or for our shelters. So um, I'm using my, uh, this is a reflective 550 cord from Southern Survival. Uh, this is one of those things I like to use just because, you know, if I'm out there at night and I have this, I'm using this. Um, you know, I don't walk into it because I use my flashlight. So the overhand knot is extremely easy. So you come over and then bring the tail through and then pull tight. And that will stop another knot from, if you tie this after a knot, it will stop it from slipping. Um, you can dress this up. I, I usually like to put, if I have a tail um, that I've cut and I haven't burned it, I'll put a stop knot right there so it, it stops from fraying. But also if I do tie a knot, then I typically can slip a um, overhand knot through most of the things. So once again, the overhand knot, it's very simple. You're gonna come over, make your bite, and bring your tail through, and then pull, pull it tight. Um, this works really good under load. So as, as long as it's, it's taut, it, it doesn't work stuff out. But also you're gonna really kind of use this if you're doing anything permanent. Um, so if you have a bowline knot and at the end of your bowline you tie a, a stop knot, it keeps that bowline knot in place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust the camera angle here and then we'll do um, a bowline knot. Okay, so the bowline knot. You got your cord, you're gonna create a loop and then this is the rabbit. It's gonna come up through, up through the hole and then around the tree right here. Then he's gonna come back up through the hole and you grab the rabbit, hold it in place and pull this, this, this way. So it tightens it down. And there's your bowline knot. Now with the stop knot there, this won't slip out. Now this is really uh, a, a nice knot, especially when you're securing anything or I got, we, I use this to um, set my ridge line up. So if I'm, if I have it wrapped around something, all I do is make a loop here stick it in there and then put a toggle and then I could pull this tight against whatever it is. And so hold it in place as long as there's pressure um, on the toggle. And then pull the toggle out and it's done. Okay, so that's the bowling knot. Okay, you got sheet bend. This is bringing two cords together to make them longer. Maybe you cut your cords too short um, or the cordage you have, you just found and you need to make it longer. So you're gonna take whichever one and bend it down. You're gonna come up through the loop around and then you're going to go back underneath the cord itself and then pull tight and there those two cords are now together now i got the stop knot there so it's not going to slip out and if i wanted to i would put another slot stop knot in there that'll help this um, maintain its integrity so we're going to do the modified trucker's hitch so you're going to secure your one loop um, to your location, to um, your starting point. Find your location and loop it over. Now this is this is a lot easier when it's done with a greater distances, a foot and a half. It, it, it works, but um, it's not as easy um, or as clean looking. So find an area about halfway to three fourths of the way up. You're going to pinch it and twist it. Pinch and twist. And then lay that on top of this cord that's running this way then pull it through 
and that gives you this nice loop. Now this loop, if you pull, will disappear. So don't get too over anxious with it. So once again, create your loop, now twist it, Oops, twist it, grab and pull. Then take, and you're gonna take this, this cordage and feed it through. Like I said, with greater distances, it's easier because you don't have to pull it through. So it's through here. Now all you're simply gonna do is pull up. And this is going to tighten this down. And pull for as tight as you need it to be so you can secure whatever down or your ridge line, you know, we don't want sagging. So that's pretty tight. <clears throat> pinch up here, pinch right here. And you're gonna lay the cord over, under, then come back through. So over, come under, and pull this through. And that, if you put a toggle in here, if this goes release, it won't release. Um, that's all it does, that's all it needs to secure it. Because it's already